Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. You can have pretty much anything you want in this universe. That's the belief. If you believe it's there, you just have to attract it to you, but there are steps to take in manifesting. She is a law of assumption coach, helps people with this all the time, but there's a certain protocol, certain things you need to follow. One of them is confidence, confidence in that it's going to work. And we're going to talk about that today with our professional of the year. Sue Carabello is back with us. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, Terrific. Good to have you back here. Thank you. I I wrestle with this confidence thing all the time because I believe in manifestation. Mm -hmm. I've shared with you before that I, I believe what I I feel I deserve what I want is it's mm-hmm. common in, right. in in the universe's time. I don't I, I'm gonna admit I'm not doing the best job in manifesting it. There's things I should be doing, steps I should be taking. The confidence thing is a big one because if you don't have that belief in the process, Exactly. It's, it's not going to work, right? It's it's not even the process. It's more about that belief in who you are. It's that belief and that, again, I think we've spoken about this knowing. Confidence is really coming in when you believe in who you are in what you do and your ability to achieve things. Your confidence gets stronger when you have that trust in yourself. When your trust and faith are unshakable, your confidence just skyrockets. Like nothing can stop. Uh, anything that is meant for you to come into your experience. Hmm, interesting. So it really is the confidence in yourself. Like, I got it. I can pull anything off. I'm not even worried about it. And yeah. having that belief in yourself brings those other things to you? Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. So it's it's never like we use techniques to get ourselves into that state of trust, faith, and confidence. Like that is the state that you want to be in. But it's that confidence gets solidified when you have that belief in yourself, when you, when you know that you are the best candidate for the job, that you know that you're the best at being you, you can attract everything that's meant for you. What happens is over time, we're like working on, we focus more on the techniques to get something as opposed to being the version of you that already has what you desire or what you crave. It's, we call that the highest version of ourselves, right? When we're when we're not using techniques anymore, we're just embodying that state of being. And when you embody that, what needs to get you there is confidence. So really, this is what I'm getting from you, Sue. Yeah. All of this stuff, the process, Mm -hmm. doesn't even matter unless you have confidence in yourself. And when we said we're going to talk about confidence today, Mm -hmm. my first thought was confidence in the process. Yeah, it's going to work. Yeah, but, but it's not so much. It's it's in you. Well, it's in you, right? And the process comes from you, right? You you can trust the process, t- trust the steps that you're taking. You're trusting your intuition. What's the underlying thing getting you there? What's driving the bus? The confidence in that, mm-hmm. right? You're trusting that intuition. What's getting you there? Confidence. The steps that you need to take. What's putting the process together? The confidence in the steps. So it's, yes, you can take those steps. Like I can tell you, you need to take X, Y, and Z. But until you have the confidence to step into that and do it automatically without saying, okay, I have to wake up and do this. I have to do this. I have to do X, Y, and Z. And if you're aligning with that version of you, that's really not the confident, most confident version of you where you're just going to get up and be like, yep, I'm going out and today I'm going to rock this world and it's going to be amazing. And everything I desire is just flowing to me. It's, it's, it's an energy. Confidence is an energy, but it's that belief in yourself, belief in the process, right? It's trusting yourself. It's trusting that inner knowing. It's having faith in God, the universe, whatever you believe in, that what is meant for you will always find you. But it's, it's not doubting it. It's not being fearful of it. It's literally just being open, receptive, and standing firm like an oak tree being like, yeah, I I got this. And I think we've spoken about this before. Like if you're going to apply for a job, right, who there could be somebody who's been working at the job for several years, and there could be somebody else who's just graduated grad school, you know, just walks in. He knows the, the job, but he's just got an air of confidence about himself. 
He's not desperate. He knows who he is. And it's that confidence in who you are. It's confident in trusting that process, right? If when you finally step into that embodied version of yourself, the process kind of lends itself to what you need to do to make your dreams come true. How do you know when you're in the zone? It's peace, inner peace. It's the only way you, you feel happy for no reason. It's just like, yeah, life is good. I'm, I'm chill. It's, it's, it's your intuition talking and you will, and it always feels good. Like that's the beauty. Like when you're trusting your intuition and trusting that inner knowing, you will always feel good. And it's not forced. It's literally, it's just flowing out of you because that's who you are. There's no need to force it. There's no need to force anything to happen. It's this confidence just radiates. It's like, you know, and, and opportunities come, the love comes, the the success just happens to flow your way because you are just that embodied version of you. Um, and we use techniques, right? We use techniques as visualization, affirmations, scripting, and all these techniques are designed to help you step into that embodied version of you. So when you get to that embodied version, you don't have to rely on the techniques as much because you know who you are. And it's like, it's, it's confidence. And it's just having that faith in who you are. It's trusting in who you are. And it's just... It's sexy. It's the only way to describe it. Confidence <laughs> is just sexy. It is. There's no two ways to cut the to cut it. It just is. Well, there's. I see the two things here, and I get what you're saying. There's, yeah. you know, nobody wants to really be around somebody that's. Well, I'm worried about everything. You know, it's like sure. I'm here to help you out, but, but uh, it's just more work. Um, there's two two follow with the confidence. There's, I I feel that there's confidence in your abilities that Mm -hmm. you can get things done and all of that. Then I think it goes a a layer deeper where you have that inner peace that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think everybody has that. I think once you've gotten, you went one, one level deeper or you leveled up, if you will. Um, that's, and and that's where I come in. Okay. That's where I come in as a coach because I've been there, right? I was confident in certain areas of my life. In certain areas, I wasn't. Like, I was looking outside of myself to get validation, to get appreciation from from the world, instead of knowing that I had those things already in me. But I, I had to let go of the stories that said, you know, you can't do it. It's too much work. It takes too much time. Well, you know, like, and I, I go like this because it's just that voice that's, on repeat saying it you can't do it if mm. it's not meant for you let it go move on you know next time what, whatever the story is and if you can silence that voice down you can really get to that center of inner peace and that knowing that's when the confidence comes in and then it's like hmm, if i can embody this state of being every day that i know that i'm, I'm good at what i do i love what i do I have friends, I have family, I have success in all these things. It's just a reminder to to yourself, like, yeah, I can do this. And it's silencing that other voice and saying, you know, like maybe in the past, I wasn't sure of who I am. I know who I am now, right? But that's that's what I teach my clients. I, I teach my clients how to release those stories, to take responsibility, because at one point they believed those stories, to forgive, let go, and and now rewrite right? Or rescript the story of your life. You're the creator, producer, and actor of your life. So you have to embody it. Do you, do you think that doesn't matter who you are, what you have, you could be, you just, you could have just moved into town, no Mm -hmm. family, really no friends, got a job, whatever, you know, basic stuff. But if you have that confidence that what good, I, good things come my way. I made a move here to this town. It's going to be okay. Yeah. My intuition said mm-hmm. I should go there and I'm, I'm riding with that. It's all good. <laughs> you, know, mm-hmm. it's, you have nothing to worry about. Is that, 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 yes. that kind of what you, what you're feeling? Mm-hmm. It's, it's relaxation, right? It's again, it's that inner peace. It's, it's unshakable. When you get to that space of unshakable confidence, it's just a peace and a knowing in who you are. Mm-hmm. And it's, it feels good. Like that's, and I've worked with, um, Several coaches, they always say when you get to that space, it just feels good. There's no way to describe it. It just is. It's just who you are. And 
yes, you know, your confidence can fluctuate up and down, especially if you're on this journey to become your greatest self. If you don't know what that feels like on a regular basis, we call it alignment. If, if you don't know what that alignment feels like, you're going to have those ebbs and flows until you get to that point where you level out and it's like, okay, this is just a past thought that I've had, a past belief that I've had about myself or the world around me. And then it's making a choice, right? Are you deciding to keep embodying that state of being or you're going to embody this new story that, no, this doesn't bother me anymore. I know who I am. I trust my inner knowing. I trust God, the universe, my higher self, whatever, again, you believe in. And then that's your guiding compass. And then when you connect with that, like that's when everything starts to shift because you're connecting with that highest version of you, that best version of you. And that's that's what I I truly believe that the universe, God wants you to embody that highest and greatest version of you. You have the ability to do whatever you desire in this life, but you have to trust that that best version of yourself. Isn't it amazing? This is my belief, and I'd love to see how you feel. Yeah. You're a kid. You could be six years old. Mm-hmm. You've got all of this in you. It's, it's, you you're, you're there. If, if you mm-hmm. could understand um, faith in yourself and all those, a six-year-old has all of that. They have hot, yeah. complete faith in themselves. The world is wonderful. There's no yeah. issues whatsoever. Everything is amazing, magical. I, I, I yeah, I'm a kid. I, I oh, we're, oh, I, you know, you could dream whatever you want a, a, yeah. as you're playing along, whatever. And it's and that's the imagination. That's and that's what creates. Yes, it's fabulous. And I, I remember seeing a meme on Instagram probably like two weeks ago, where it was a kid um, with a cape on. And probably like, you know, five or six. And it's like, you have to have the confidence of a six-year-old in a cape to walk throughout your life because they don't care. They're just having fun. And that's that's when things shift. That's the beauty of it. Like when you're having fun and you're relaxed and enjoying each and every moment, all of a sudden it's like the money that you wanted. Oh, look, I got a check in the mail for $100. Oh, like I got a call for a job interview. Oh, wow. Right. Look, I'm, I'm, I met my specific person. It's like boom, boom, boom. And again, because you're not focusing on the lack of it, mm-hmm. you're just focusing on all the abundance and love that you have within yourself. And it's recognizing, and this is where the confidence comes in, that you have a choice to focus on the fear within you, the doubts and the limits within you, or focus on the love. Mm. And every day you have to wake up and decide, again, as a choice, I'm going to decide to connect with that greatest version of me. And then what happens as a kid? You do life. <laughs> well, life that's, life begins know, and that's the way it is. Like you you yeah. internalize things, you hear things, exactly. situations, and then it's, and here we are. Well, because we don't know what we don't know, right? So we we follow along what we've always done. And we learn from our peers, we learn from our teachers, from our coaches, from our friends, from our families, our siblings, our cousins, you name it. We're all learning from each other. But until we get to a point in life where it's like, why doesn't this seem to, you know, we start to question, we start to doubt who we are. It's it's going back to that inner child, right? It's that little version of you that's still alive and well inside of you. The one that wants to go play in the mud when it's raining out, right? We all have that little version of us inside of ourselves. And when you realize that that little version of you is still there and you can connect with that, that's the confidence, right? That person, that little kid is still there who wants to go play and be alive and feel free, right? That Those are all the energies that you can connect with on a regular basis. And when you do that, that's when your confidence skyrockets. It's So you don't get the job. No big deal. Another job will come along. I didn't make the soccer team. Okay, so I have to practice a little harder. The next time I will make the team. But these are all things that you need to connect with on a regular basis, and keep moving forward. And that's where we grow. And, and as we grow, the more confident we become in who we are. Did I ever tell you, we we're talking about younger, right? And yeah. that that energy, um, mm-hmm. that that meditation I did that took me back. No, which one was that? I keep it really short. I just yeah. went with somebody who basically is intuitive and she had me stare at an object. And it was one of those squishy balls. She had said, pick a color, mm-hmm. purple. Yeah. She puts it on just a, a pole and it's there. It's got those little spikes, you know, it's a, just yeah. you know, cat toy almost. Yeah. 
Yeah. And put on some low music. And she said, just stare at that and just meditate and think. And I'm like, okay, yeah. whatever. And it was on a Saturday morning and I'm staring at it and I focused at it. And it took me back to being in my 20s where on okay. Saturday mornings I would be in my mom's house. I would be a DJ playing pirate radio, playing music I wanted, having fun. I would always look forward to Saturdays. I don't have to work. I'm going to just yeah. just play music on the radio and have fun. And yeah. I actually heard the songs as I'm staring. Then I saw another vision of me going to a, a high school track, not even my own. I used to go to another track um, yeah. across town because I just like the way the trees looked and everything. And I would go jogging yeah. and I would listen to music. And then mm. I would jog backwards, literally jog. Woohoo, having a great time. This is great, man. Yeah. And it was my epiphany to do what you just said, to go back to your younger self. It was yeah. like the me now is saying, you enjoyed doing those silly things that have supported you, connected to music. You need to enjoy that. You need to go back because you were happy yeah. then. You were happier. Exactly. It was a happy time. Um, it was a happy time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, so my point here is, should we find that time to meditate? Just think. Just yes. sit and think about what makes you happy, your life, all of this kind of stuff. Do you think yeah. that's supportive? Absolutely. Um, excuse me. So I, 100%, I meditate more than most. Um, I t meditate an hour in the morning, an hour yeah. in the evening. And why do I do that? Because I, it's changed my life. And what happens is it quiets the mind down. And you allow yourself to just be centered and in touch with here. And this, this in here will change your life, right? Because it's opening up and it's showing you, it's like, these are the things that I absolutely love. These are the things that I love to do. These are the things that make me happy. You're connecting with that part of you that oftentimes we close off because I got to go to work and I got this job and I got it, but right. We make up a list of things that we have to do sure. and we never take time to just connect with ourselves. Do you think the best way to realize this is let's say you're doing the work. Yeah. I'm going to get that fly that's flying around you. Uh, even though we're, I know, we're, I can't, we're, I can't di we're in different it. States. <laughs> it's like landed on my face. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. You never know. Uh, I know what's going on. I don't know what that sign is. Uh, Let's say you're doing the work to compare the way you were to the way you are. Is that what would really bring it even clearer for you? Yes. And I'm going to, I'm going to use this fly as an example. The old version of me would sit here and freak out right now that this fly flew on my face. It's flying around. It's ruining this video. And this version of me is like, it is what it is. You know what? I have to embrace I have to embrace the uncertainty. You have to embrace the unknown. And I could get mad and upset over it, but am I going to? No. Yeah. Like I, I can't. That's not it's not the way you live life, right? But this is it's almost how do they describe it. They call it um that part of you, that ego. The ego is the one that's trying to control, and the ego will affect your confidence, right? Like for now, so I'm like, okay, this flies flying around. I've seen it. It landed on my face. Um, you know, I can't do anything about it. Right. I'm still going to have to embrace who I am, but that old version of me would have, you know, a year or two ago would have had like a complete freak out would have probably gotten off this video would have been like, don't post it, don't do it. But no, like my highest self is like, you know what? I attract everything, including flies. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you I would have done it, right? <laughs> if I were you in that situation back in the day, I would do the same thing and just be like, you know, you know, just try to notably see that I'm hitting the fly. It's a fly. We talk about it. Flies are, it's part of our lives. And I opened up the back door cause it was nice that it flew in and it is what it is. Oh, I'll what? get it after here. So. And, and you know <laughs> what I see in that, and maybe it's the, the shifting of the mindset, at least yeah. for me, is there's a lesson in everything. Exactly. Um, I'm looking for the message. Why is it on you now while we're talking? Is there something that we should see? Is there something there? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe there is. The message is really just you have you have to go with the flow. Like things happen in life, right? They're we're, we're not perfect. Sure. Uh, we'll, we're going to forget things. We're, again, we're not perfect. But it's it's knowing that even if you make a mistake, if things don't go hundred percent your way, you're still good enough. Yeah, you're still enough. 
you're still worthy of everything you desire. But if you give the energy to the, the, the things that are going on to the flies in the world, right? If you're giving your energy to the flies, sure. you're not looking at the butterflies over here that are also right outside the window. You're not looking at the beautiful sky and the clouds that are outside your window. You're focusing on the lack or the negative of something instead of focusing on the fact that, okay, I can shift my mindset at any point and step into that confident highest version of myself, or I can sit here and worry about, oh my God, everybody's going to see this. My, they're going to think my house is a wreck, whatever. <laughs> right. Cause that's right. immediately what your, my yeah, mind yeah, would yeah. go down to. Right. This is what it is. Right. Like, it's, and this is a lesson. It's literally and when I say that I the universe is giving me lesson after lesson today. It's a uh, I even sat in chocolate earlier today. No joke. I sat in chocolate, went out, got my hair done, um, my, not my hair, my eyebrows done and was walking around in the store with a huge chocolate stain right down my leg. And I'm like, of course. But you know what? There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. You have to, you have to embrace it. You have to embrace the uncertainty because that's the beauty of life. Okay. This is going to sound weird and you can yeah. just, you know, slap me down and shut me up and we'll just, you know, we're almost done. Yeah. Um, so I'm at the gym today and I played, I you can't make this up. I'm almost embarrassed. Don't even look. I'm almost embarrassed yeah. to say this. I played I, this song 10 times. It's okay. I've done that. Uh, wait for it, it. it. It's your jam. The song is "Fly." Oh, really? By Sugar Ray, and I, I, I love, I, I love the, I love the um, super cat, the you reggae guy. You this fly in. <laughs> what, what, what? You the focused blank. on that song so much that you called it into to this experience. And I always think of my mom because it's like twenty five years old. My mom, God rest her soul. And then super cat reggae guy is like, "Let him mercy." Um, you got to have the super cat reggae version or just don't even bother. Yeah. But funny, it's called fly. And I kept playing it over and over and put your arms around me, baby. And it likes that. Yeah, this is good. All right. Let me do another set. <laughs> I like weird. I don't, what's the message? I don't, maybe look at, what do you want? What do I get from that song? Fly. It's I, I want to yeah. move forward. I want to soar. Mm-hmm. I want to fly. And I'm, that's, and that's exactly what you're doing. And be clear in that be clear in your intention as to where you want to go and how you want to show up in this world, how you want to fly, how you want to share your gift, because it's not Mm. just, you know, your gift is not what you do. It's who you are. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. And it doesn't have to be just in your occupation. It can be in everything that you do. And don't focus on how you're going to get there. No, focus on being there. Being there, exactly. That's it. Yes, you yeah. want to just be there. Because I you used to, to I'm working on a project now and it's all like, com- the pieces are coming together, the synergy, like weird, yeah. but maybe not. Uh, and I used to worry, like, how am I going to do that? How, you know, I got to do this and do that. No, it's like, it's all just coming together because I'm, I'm at the end point and then I'm going to work my way back. Um, yeah. That's just one piece of it. Um, and that's the beauty of it. When you're that confident, highest version of yourself, you will embody that state of being every single day. They will give you the path to get where you need to go. And that's the beauty of it. Like once you get there, you're there and nothing, nothing else matters. Like it's just, you know, yeah. Being that greatest version of you. It's, it's magical when you get there. I think we also, um, but we'll we'll end on this point, I guess, give yourself permission. Exactly. That's what we do. Give yourself permission. Yeah. yeah, because because your highest self is waiting for you to choose. You can keep choosing the old story, or you can choose the greatest and highest version of yourself. Yeah, and I, I believe that we feel uncomfortable, you know, to to feel good about ourselves, and you know, it's kind of cocky. Yeah, I'm going to crush it. Sorry, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you, know, you, like, should. If, you should. You should. The other song. Remember, like everything is just a circumstance. It's just it's just a moment in time, yeah. and at this point, like the fly. It's already, it's already in the past. It's already not past. Right now. I won't back it's down. Far. Tom Petty. That's another one that I will put on and, and hit. It's like two and a half minutes long over and over again. And that's yeah. my pump up. It's, I won't, awesome. I'm not going to back down. Just not. Uh, I love it. How do we find you? How do we connect with you? If somebody needs a hand to walk this journey and, yeah. and I believe we all do. I don't think we <laughs> can do this alone. I, I don't. Yeah. How do yeah, we do my, that? Um, I would love it. Um, my Instagram is at the at sign. Susan Carabello underscore, or my website is www.suecarabello.com. 
Next time we get together, tell me if there's a deep meaning in the fly. I I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm going to check on the spiritual meaning of a fly. But... You know, that's an interesting point. <laughs> Seriously, I do that all the time. I was I was kayaking the other day and there's a I found a white rose floating. Oh wow. And I started looking at it and it it also means new beginnings and all that. And I'm like, yeah. hmm, all right. And I threw it back in the water. It was for somebody else, but it was a reason. And I saw it bobbing and I'm like, I gotta go over to that. Let me see what that is. Uh, what is this? And it was a fresh rose. I'm like, you know, all right. I think there's a meaning cool. in everything. We gotta see there's it. There's a meaning in everything, but again, we we get to decide what that meaning is. So it's not really searching for it. For yeah. me, it's like it's recognizing that, you know, a fly will come in but I can still focus on the good. Yeah. Right. I still have to focus on the good and I have to keep uh, focusing forward as opposed to focusing behind me. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for today. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I will talk soon. All right. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the podcast business news network. Hey dad. How do airplanes fly? What's in this box? Can I touch this? Where does sand come from? Is this tree good for climbing? What happens if I mix these two things together? How are babies made? What does this thing do? Kids are curious about everything, including guns. Talking to them about gun safety in your home is a good first step, but you can do more. Always keep your guns locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition. Storing your guns securely is the best way to prevent family fire, including unintentional shootings. For more information on safe gun storage and ways to keep your family safe, visit endfamilyfire.org. That's endfamilyfire.org. What do we keep in the attic? What's this thing called? Can I ride my bike backwards? Like I said, kids are curious. It's up to us to keep them safe. Brought to you by N Family Fire, Brady, and the Ad Council.